Hi, it's uh, John Trong here. I'm just about to do my monthly um, smoke alarm tests and I thought that I want to do something different and since it's um, fire prevention week I was thinking about um, video recording this and hopefully promote fire safety just so I, so I can be able to promote um, fire safety. I want to be able to um, do what I preach uh, as a fire prevention uh, professional that uh, I go out and tell people about making sure that you have working smoke alarms, testing your smoke alarms, and ensuring that they work. And um, so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm hoping that with through this video, I can be able to um, challenge all my uh, family and friends, uh, uh, making sure that, uh, that this weekend that, that you actually do test your smoke alarms and making sure that they work. Not only your, t uh, your smoke alarms, but also your carbon monoxide alarms too as well. You'd be very surprised that um, smoke alarms became mandatory in uh, March of 2006. And for carbon monoxide alarms, it was mandatory to have uh, in your homes as of October 2014. But uh, like I said, as a professional, going to different homes um, and then inspecting them, you'd be surprised that some of these homes, they don't have working smoke alarms uh, or they take out the batteries or they're out of date. And uh, it's very surprising and it's troubling. And you probably heard uh, recently uh, in the beginning of 2018 in Oshawa, there was four lives that lost because that they didn't have working smoke alarms. So I wanna be able to hopefully uh, like I said, promote fire safety and that I want to be able to do something similar to like the ice bucket challenge and that uh, be able to have uh, families and friends be able to accept this challenge and to be able to test their smoke alarms, test their uh, carbon monoxide alarm, making sure that they're not out of date, um, making sure that their batteries are working or they have to be replaced and having it mounted properly as well. Um, but again, uh, the whole concept of this is to promote fire safety. And um, I was thinking that uh, if this video gets viewed over 2,000 times on YouTube, what I'm going to do is I'm going to donate $200 to Camp Bucko. So for a good cause, uh, again, just to kind of give people reasons that, hey, you know what, um, accept my challenge so that we can make sure that everybody is safe, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna test my smoke alarm here that I have inside my little crawl space first, all right? As you can see here, okay. And I'm gonna test that, make sure it works. Holding it down. Okay, that works. All right, you never know, there might be a fire in the little attic space, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to test my carbon monoxide alarm here in my furnace room. So I'm going to just test that. Oh, works. Okay. So just in case if there's carbon monoxide in the furnace room. Okay. And I'm going to grab my stick here that I just dropped and I'm going to test my strobe and smoke alarm. All right, so I'm going to do that. Test that. No, nope, that ain't going to work. Okay, so I got a strobe there, making sure that one works in the bedroom here. Okay, that works. Okay, so that's the basement. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the first floor, make sure that this one works. Okay, so. Tested. Okay, that one works. Okay, so I'm gonna go.
go test the second floor here. So I got one in the main room, or sorry, main corridor. And we also have strobes in the bedroom. So we're gonna test this one here. Bedroom. That one works. And that one's finished. Okay, so we all know that all of these smoke alarms and strobes are working in the house. So, like I said, do what you preach. And I'm hoping that all my uh, colleagues and friends who are in the fire service will accept this challenge because uh, I think it's very important that we set the example in terms of um, making sure that as fire safety uh, professionals is that we, we do want to lead by example and that everybody here is going to accept this challenge and hopefully promote uh, fire safety, making sure that people's smoke alarms do work and that uh, it's going to be able to make a difference, right? Even if we are able to save one one life, is 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 what it makes uh, the biggest difference. So, hopefully, this um, message goes through to people, um, and that uh, yeah, it'll it'll be able to be similar to like the ice bucket challenge, and that uh, people will be able to partake, have fun, and making sure that their uh, house is safe from fire. All right, take care.